Kim Bard here with Osborne Books and More, Osborne Books Fairy. So glad to share with you some chapter books and some reading books because when you think of books, you think of reading. Just think about your very favorite moment and memories you have about reading as a child. Was it snuggling up with a family member? Was it making a reading fort? Was it that favorite series you had that you read over and over? We all have some memories about reading, and so we want to make reading special for the kids in our lives as well. Um, when your children are in preschool, even all the way up through second, third, fourth grade, you want to read to them chapter books, but you also want to read to them picture books. Nibbles is a picture book, and he chews his way through books, and he changes our fairy tales. <gasps> what will we ever do when he changes the story? And so you have to read it to see what happens, but it's adorable. And, of course, some of our books come with cute little plushes. So you're going to see that, like the What If Monster and Jonathan James. He worries about all these what ifs, and sometimes they're really silly what ifs. So at the end of the book, he makes what ifs that work out. So it's really fun. And, of course, we have the board books. This is a great series because it helps them get ready for things that they're doing at their age, and it's board books. So even at that very young age, you want to be reading to your kids. This is one of our most popular, Everyone Poops. It's hysterical, and it's true. It got my daughter to poop on the body, so I'm a big fan. But more than that, it does teach the science behind it and why we do. So then you get to your um, the picture books again, and I just want to reiterate perspective. This book tells the perspective of her, and the little beast, he gets to tell the story, and it's hysterical. So you hear the story twice from two different perspectives. If you need books with a CD, the great way to do that would be the Bible stories. It has a read-along CD, and it has easy reading at the top and advanced reading at the bottom. We have Farmyard Tales, which is 20 stories on a CD, hysterical, about a family on a farm. I love this for nap time or in the car because I used to say, you can stay down for a nap and you can't get out of bed until your stories are done. There's 20 of them. <laughs> so that really is helpful. And of course, when they're starting to learn to read, oops, we have our phonics reader, Ted and Friends and Cow Takes a Bow. And now there's a new one out. And they have stories that have, this one has a little hidden duck on every page, lift the flaps, and it's fat cat on a mat. It's all those beginning sounds that kids are going to be learning as well as the blends, like the OW, and there's more. So then you kids move up to chapter books. Sorry, I disappeared. And chapter books like Billy B. Brown and Hey Jack are perfect because look, it's at the end of first grade chapter book reading, which is wonderful for them. And they can enjoy this all the way second to third grade. And there's 16 in each series. So these are AR tested, wonderful books. And they're fun little suspenseful social skills that the kids are working on. Then your kids would jump up to the Jack Russell series or the Secret Mermaids. We have a whole bunch of different series at this age level, which would be that second grade, third grade level of reading. And then the most adorable new series, we have Ella Diaries. My daughter's a huge fan. She's going into fifth grade, and this is some of the funny things she writes in her diary. Just adorable. Every little girl is going to die for this book. So that third to fifth grade would be perfect for that. And then you have your older books. The Impossible Quest is so cool. Um, fantasy, and it's written for that fourth, fifth grade and up child that loves to read. The Conspiracy 365, whole series. Um, and he has 365 days to figure out where his dad is that's missing and who's for him, who's against him. I would say at least fifth grade and up, but high school, even my dad loved the series. So you can't go wrong with these. You'll want to read them yourself. And the last one.